Hello all and welcome, and I am the Realist Philosopher, and this is the Realist Den, where we're 100% raw, 100% real, 100% of the time, baby! hoo <laughs> How y'all doing today? Hope you're all doing good, fine, and well. I'm well, I'm always well, regardless of what kind of nonsense I'm seeing in the media. Although, if I could easily be disturbed, uh, this would do it. So, yeah. Ten-year-old boy dances on stage for money at adult gay bar in New York City. You know, I thought that you coastal elites were these uh, uh, morally superior beings, right? You had a firmer grasp of morality. At least you would think that's the case with your moral outrage mobs occurring in California and New York City and... You're all so outraged, you must have a greater sense of moral understanding than the rest of us because you're always so pissed off about something you consider to be morally questionable happening out there in the world, usually something that's uh, perpetrated by someone that's on the right, a conservative, right? Yet somehow, somehow, this slipped right under your radar, huh? And you're still not really saying anything to object about it. So, drag kid Desmond is amazing delivered a headlining performance. Really? He was headlining? Oh my God, don't headliners have to get up on stage for quite a while? Like 10, 15 minutes or something? At a sleazy Brooklyn gay bar on December 1st. Ah, oh, come on, we don't know that it was sleazy, right? Just because it was a gay bar? Let's, let's not define it as sleazy. Not to autom let's not automatically assume that the place is sleazy, eh? where the 10-year-old boy danced on stage in a crop top and a full face of makeup as a throng of adult men in the audience showered him in dollar bills. The event, called Club Woa, was hosted at a Brooklyn gay bar called The Three Dollar Bill and was promoted on social media. Desmond also celebrated the performance on his own Instagram page, which has 105,000 followers. 10-year-old kid who puts on ladies' wigs and ladies' clothes has 105,000 followers. Really? I wonder why this kid's mother is having him dress up like this and get all this media attention and get to the point where he has 105,000 followers on Instagram. It couldn't be for money, could it? She couldn't be using her son just to make some dollar bills, yo. Nah. Adults who wish to watch a half-naked child dance on bar could buy tickets on an ever-bright page. You had to buy tickets to see this? Really? It's my understanding that gay bars are pretty ubiquitous. I mean, they're all over the place. You don't need to buy tickets, you just walk in. Uh, you know, if they have strippers, well, then some dudes strip, right? You don't have to buy tickets, generally speaking. I mean, there might be a cover charge or something, but this is kind of ridiculous. So, but no, this isn't about money. <laughs> to see a 10-year-old dance around on stage, oh no, I'm sure, and I'm sure there's no pedophiles in that audience. <sighs> in which the venue describes itself as queer-owned and operated, and we foster a safe space from love. Love of 10-year-old boys. <laughs> we respect all human persons, as long as those human persons are also respectful to the ones around them. So, as long as you're a respectful pedophile, you're okay. <laughs> There's a picture of Desmond. Wearing some uh, blue sweatpants with a pink line and skinny, spindly little arms. And there's people handing him, uh, handing him money. Oh, God. Probably hoping they can stroke his arm or something. Bunch of freaks. Photos of the event show Desmond in a blonde wig, makeup, and crop top. And he's collecting monetary tips from the adult men in the audience. In addition to whatever money his mama's getting in regards to those tickets. Uh, and like a stripper, as other half-naked adult drag queens, some in panties and fishnet stockings, some on stage nearby. YouTube Yosef Ozaya of Ozaya Media called attention to the disturbing performance in a video he posted Friday afternoon. So a day after the performance, one reviewer on Yelp wrote, I left after seeing a child dance on stage for money at nighttime. This was on Saturday night, and I have been feeling disturbed ever since. You and me both, pal. <laughs> Another reviewer said the club has a weird no cell phone policy. I wonder why? A club that has little children dancing around and stripping half naked for dollar bills, yo? I wonder why they have a no cell phone policy. Hmm, <laughs> yes, okay, my opinion is in regards to whether or not this is a sleazy club is changing rapidly. So Desmond is amazing. Oh boy, I've seen this kid before. Uh, a Brooklyn native has become a celebrity in the drag 
queen world and LGBT community, a little darling of left-wing media and gay lobbying groups. His parents have come under harsh criticism. Parents? There's more than one of them? So I was automatically figuring this was the uh, desperate cry for attention and money of a single mother. But there's a f apparently a father involved, too. It said parents, not parent, not mother. Oh, boy. This is real disturbing. So you know that that father must be one of the most cucked, soy boy, wimp, progressive, male feminist, true believers on the planet. Good Lord. Yes, his parents have come under harsh criticism for their questionable parenting style. Yeah, questionable. <laughs> you think that's the right word, questionable? <laughs> yeah, that's a little too mild a descriptive in my opinion. He became famous after video of him dancing sexually in a gay pride parade went viral. Desmond appears to spend most of his time with adult gay men and cross-dressers. With the full support and encouragement of his parents. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Gee, I wonder if Dad is in the closet, perhaps. And maybe, just maybe, he wants his child to spend all this time around gay men and drag queens just so he can have an excuse, a reason to get close to them himself. Hmm, could it be? Could that be the case? Last December, the child even appeared on a YouTube show hosted by drag queen Michael Allig, who was just released from a 17-year prison sentence for killing and dismembering his drug dealer. <laughs> you know, you know you're a good parent when you let your kids spend the afternoon with a convicted murderer who is well known for chopping people up. In that video, Desmond is seated directly beneath a piece of artwork with the word Rohypnol painted largely on it. Rohypnol is also known as Roofies, which is the date rape drug. I can't make this shit up, man. Uh, of course, here we have a picture uh, of uh, Desmond walking away with money in his hand. And, of course, the uh, butt waving back and forth suggestively, as you can tell from the uh, picture and the way his hips are swayed to the uh, his left there. Wow. Wow, that's that's just so disturbing. And because I'm not a tease... I'm going to let you see the video for yourself. I had to do a little searching, believe it or not. It didn't just pop up. And what I was able to find, for the most part, were edited versions, like 34 seconds, a minute. So this seems to be a longer video. So let's see what Desmond has going on. And if Desmond's doing anything that's really all that questionable, we shouldn't just take other people's word for it. We should see for ourselves. All right, let's take a look. What the fuck? Okay, so the kid comes out. He's wearing some kind of granny night dress. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, you know, when old ladies go to bed and then somebody knocks on their door at like 3 a.m. And, and, and they want to grab that like that robe gown looking thing and put it on to cover themselves up. Okay, and she, he, excuse me, he just picked up, what are those, Barbie dolls? Did he just pick up some Barbie dolls? And he's, he's lip syncing with the music. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, so the kid just threw off the gown. So that's technically stripping, right? I mean, yeah, he didn't get naked, but he is stripping off clothes as he tosses down the Barbie dolls. So he is stripping. Oh, go get that money. Yeah, sway those hips subject suggestively. Oh, look, 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 it's old grandpa here. This 60-plus-year-old fat guy, yeah, with the neck beard. I I'm sure he's not a pedophile. Nah. Come get my money. Come get my money, you cute little thing. Ha, ha, ha. Creepy looking. <laughs> old grandpa's in the audience of a gay bar watching a 10-year-old kid. <gasps> no, that's not disturbing at all. By the way, is this dancing? I mean, I, I don't know what this kid's doing. I don't know that it's... 
uh, dancing. I don't know that I would define it as dancing. Well, anyhow, I, I don't know. What can a 10-year-old do, right? And he's white, too. <laughs> I guess he didn't have much rhythm. All right. Oh, no, 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 running away real quick. So when the music said run and hide, he starts running and hiding. Wow, well, he's got some uh, theatrical uh, presence there, right? He's got some uh, ability to sync his actions with the words of the music. Eh. Throwing the Barbies, okay. Eh. He's not throwing the money, that's for sure. <laughs> Here, take your money back. I don't need the money. This ain't about money. What the? F Horrible dancer, by the way. Get that money. I'm just a girl. Oh, good lord. What is this? What is this? Chicken man? What is that? What the fuck? He's dressed like a chicken. Go get more money. Yeah, a lot of money. Jump, 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 jump. Look at me, I'm proud to be a gay ten-year-old. By the way, I hope you know I would... I mean, this is this is disturbing for me, man. I, I really don't want to watch this. Oh, God. This is painful. The things I do for you people. Yeah, yeah, dance, chicken man, dance. Cue ball there. I'm sure he's not a pedo. <sighs> get your dolls that you didn't throw away and make sure you get the money. Okay, so that that was the video, and man, I gotta tell you that that was painful to watch. <laughs> if I didn't have to make this, or I didn't feel like I had to make this video, I I would not have watched that. Oh god, I didn't want to watch that. Ah, that is horrific. How did those people enjoy that? Who would go there and enjoy that? You you gotta be a sick perverted person, right? So this is what the world's becoming. It's becoming a world of perverts, right? It's becoming a world of sickos and deviants, and these are the people that are taking charge, right? Yes, and there's the perfect picture right there to tell you what's going on here. Money, money, money. The exploitation of children for cash. The moral bankruptcy of America. And there isn't much more to say, really. The parents, well, they should be thrown in jail. <laughs> they should be thrown in jail. This is child abuse. The parents should be thrown in jail. This supposed club, this sleazy giant, as I can now call it, they should be closed down. They should be closed down. They should be fine. Whatever. They should be put out of business. And this kid, by the way, is supposedly autistic, although I'm not sure about that. The video I saw of him, he seemed pretty social, pretty presentable, very well spoken. I didn't see any hallmarks of autism. Maybe he's moderately autistic. I don't know. I think that autism is, by the way, far too commonly diagnosed 
in today's society. But regardless, let me know what you think. Is this child exploitation? Are these kids' parents child abusers? Are they scum? Is this club a sleazy shithole? <laughs> and are the people who went to this show morally suspect? And was that chicken man a pedophile or just some kind of weird sicko with a chicken fetish? I don't know. You tell me. Please check out the description of this video. You will find a lot of useful links like my Twitter and Facebook page, as well as the link to my podcast, which I create twice a week, which is 100% free. And if you like my content and would like to help me create more of it, please donate to my two Patreon pages. One of those pages is for donating on a per piece basis to my podcast, again, which I produce twice a week. So you donate $1, that'd be like eight bucks a month. Or you can go to my other Patreon platform and donate as little as $1 a month. Entirely up to you. And that's it. I am the Realist Philosopher, and I wish you a good day. Take care.